Damn, I hate my job, I feel like quitting on the daily, uh Then I realize I can't quit because I got a baby, uh Sometimes I just wanna lay around and be lazy, uh Supervisor got one more time to walk up talking crazy, uh Why you asking me to do some shit that's out of my pay grade? Why you volunteer my service knowing I ain't gonna stay late? On my case about mistakes that they made, oh hell no I ain't putting no two weeks notice, I ain't even finna tell y'all <laughs> First and foremost <coughs> Before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rekahak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, the temple of King David, scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you I say, Shalom. A hey, shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few Akwaf. Shalom to the hopeful elect. And this your brother Debar Kabash coming back at you from the GMS Charlotte, North Carolina camp with a quick lesson to edify through the Rakahak Wadash. And Yahweh Rathazah, this lesson will be edifying to someone. So I wanted to show you that clip in the beginning because that's how a lot of us feel, man. You see that we're tired of working. You know, we've been, we've been, you know. Ever since we came off the ships, you know, uh, you know, just talking about America, you know, we've been forced into hard, hard labor, man. You see that? Now, I was watching this brother, um, Aria, um, um, and I can't pronounce the last name, Shayal, and, um, you know, he did a beautiful lesson yesterday or last night. It was, it was the last lesson that I watched before I went to sleep, and uh, he, he, he hyped me up, man. You see that? And I was led through the spirit to do this lesson here. And the name of the lesson is called, uh, You Going Into Slavery, Boy. And that's right, man. You know, and according to the scriptures, right? Esau, he's going into slavery. You see that? Now, I'm going to share the link to this, uh, to his channel, or this, or the link to this lesson here in the description box. And Yahar Rathazah, you know, you brothers, and even you few sisters will subscribe, you know, to the channel, you know, very good brother. You know, um, and, uh, you know, again, you know, this devil here, he has a lot to pay for, man. And when we get in the kingdom, ooh, we, you're going to pay. You're going into slavery, boy. And that's the right title, man. You are going into slavery, boy. You know, and, you know, people, you know, out there, you know, whatever, you know. But you brothers and you few sisters, you know what's going on, man. These devils here, they made us work. You see that? Uh, uh, make us stay late. You know, I, man, you know, they uh, they raped, you know, it's, it's so much that these devils got to pay for, man. You see that? Now, I'm just going to go into a few scriptures. I'm going to keep this lesson short as I can. Yahweh Rathazah, this lesson will be edifying, man. You're going into slavery, you know, and ain't no way around it or none of that, man. Right? Let's go ahead and grab this first, man. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 39, verse 14. And they shall serve out men of of continual employment you hear that continual employment matter of fact let's go ahead and look that look that up in the common dictionary man right let's find out what continual employment means and it says continuous employment means absence of any interruption or termination of service as an employee or non-employee directed by the company or any uh anyway let's keep going here right and it says continuous employment. Uh, continuous employment usually means working for the same employer without a break. You see that? So these devils here, right? They're going to work without uh, 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 any breaks, man. You see that? Continue. We're always going to have something for you Edomites to do. You see that? And they, man, right? It's only righteous. You see that? Because it's written right here in the scriptures. You see? Slavery for you Edomites is in the Bible. You see that? And ain't no way around it. You can't, none of that, man. Right? Let's keep reading here. Because that was pretty much the point. Ezekiel chapter 39, verse 14. They shall serve out men of continual employment, passing through the land to bury with the passengers those that remain upon the face of the earth to cleanse it. After the end of seven months shall they search. You see that? So you devils, right? Starting with you top elites. Right, you you Rothschilds and you Bloomingbergs and 
you know, the list goes on, right? You, you, you high ones, right? We, man, you guys are going to clean up. The, that's going to be one of the first jobs you do is to clean up the dead bodies, man. You see that? We're going to work the hell out of you. You see that? Especially a man like me, I'm always going to have something for you to do. You see that? Because when I go to work, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm vexed as soon as when I get in there, <laughs> you know, you guys, you, 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 all you do is you sit in the AC, right? Eating Chick-fil-A, right? And you got Jake out there on the floor working their ass, sweating hard, man. You see that? You devils, how you got this land, you stole it, right? And then brought, uh, uh, brought the Israelites here to work the land for you, man. You see that? Even when you think about your local downtown area, right? And you think about them high rises, who you think they got sitting up there, man? Right? You may have a few Jakes out there, a few sellouts. You see that? But for the most part, it's Esau Edom, man. Right? And they're sitting back doing nothing. You see that? A lot of you devils don't know what it's like to work hard, man. Right? But in the kingdom, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. We really going to see you for who you are, red and a damn caveman. You see that? The only days that you're going to have right to rest is on the Sabbath days, man. See that? That's the only days. And, and even then, right, we're going to terrorize the shit out of you. We are going to terrorize the hell out of you, man. You see that? And it's all going to be done in righteousness. Let's go ahead and grab some more scriptures here, man. Right? This is the book of Sirach, chapter 29, verse uh, Shlaka. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 25, verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to, to be happy. Listen to this. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. Listen to this, man. A man that have joy of his children. You see that? So, you know, you righteous brothers and you few sisters, you know, you have joy of your children, right? Let's keep going here. And, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. You see that? So, yes, man. Right? That's what's going to make us happy also. To see the fall of you Edomites, man. Right? That's why scriptures say Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. Because once this place goes out, right? Because all roads lead to the kingdom, man. You see that? They're going to uh, 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 introduce, right? The sea hip. You know, Jacob's trouble, right? This place here being destroyed with ICBMs. And then guess what, man? The kingdom, man. You see that? So we look forward to this place falling apart every day. Every day I hope to see on the news that they somehow... You know, something is something really catastrophic happens, man. Right? So they can introduce uh, uh, the time of Jacob's trouble and also the sea hip, man. Right? And, and that day is coming, man. You see that? So anyway, let's go back to the scripture here, man. Right? We want to see the fall of our enemies, man. Right? And your kingdom is, is, is circling the damn drain, man. You see that? Your world is falling apart. You see? Let's keep going here, man. Because I don't want to keep this lesson, you know, long. This is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 3. Listen to this, man. And they have cast lots for my people, right? They have given a boy for a harlot. You see that? Shame on you devils, man. And have sold a girl for wine that they might drink. You see that? So this is what you devils did to us, man. Right? You gave a boy over for a harlot. You know, and hey man, a lot of you damn, uh, a lot of you damn Edomites, I just say you guys are, are, are disgusting, man, right? Buck breaking and all of that, you know, and, and it's all kind of stuff that you guys did to us, man, right? You guys invented certain tools, right, to jam inside of a man's, uh, 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 I'll say rear end parts, right, to play around in there, man. You see that? Like a torture device. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and look that up real quick, man. Watch this, man. Let me see. Uh, what is it? You devils got a lot to pay for, man. I think this is. I think this is what it is. All right, look at this. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, Shalaki Israel. They 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 may take this down, man. You know, but oh my goodness, um, uh, okay. So 
you pretty much get the point. You know, this is a, 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 a medieval device that they used, right, on us, man. Right, it's a horrible thing to come up with, man. You see that? So, you know, I mean, I ain't know it was gonna do all of that in Shalakia, Israel, right? But, you know, this is what these people have done, man, right? And in the kingdom, right? We're not gonna do nothing like that to them. But I want to bring out this precept, right? Because we're not gonna do anything, you know, that's, that's disgusting, man, like that, man, right? Like how these devils are. You see that? But I want to bring this out because we're gonna sell a boy for wine. You see that? And we're gonna uh, 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 sell your girls uh, uh, for harlots, man. You see that? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, hey man, we're gonna be selling you Edomites in trash bags, man. You see that? You guys are gonna work your ass off, man. Just like how you make us work, right? To let, to, to, uh, to, for crumbs, pretty much, man. Right? You devils are gonna be lucky just to get food, man. Right? We're not gonna have no mercy on you. We're not gonna be reasonable or none of that, man. You're going to work. You see that? Just like how you made us do it, we're gonna make you do it, man. When we say you're gonna do it and how you're gonna do it. You see that? Let's keep going here. And, 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 and again, Shalaki Israel for, you know, the, the images, but I want to bring, I didn't know all that was gonna pop up. Anyway, let's keep going here, man, because the days are gonna be very, very long for you Edomites, man. Right? It ain't gonna be like no 24 hour days like how it is here. You see that? The days are going to be very, very, very long for you, man. Right? Let's go ahead and grab this. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 5, verse 4. But if the Most High grant thee to live, right, thou shalt see after the third trumpet that the sun shall suddenly shine again in the night. You hear that? And the moon thrice in a day. You see that? So, hey, man, yes, the days are going to be longer, man. They're going to be a lot longer. Here... When you wake up, it seems like you work a few hours and you get off work and then guess what? It's dark time. You see that? Or oh, it's nighttime, man. You know, but in the kingdom, it ain't going to be like that, man. You see that? So that thousand years may seem like two, three, maybe four thousand years for you devils, man. Right? You know, so yes, man. You devils, you, oh man. Oh man, oh man. You think that you, you think that you did something to us, right? Wait till we get to the kingdom, man. You see that? Let's go ahead and grab something else here, right? Because I'm, I'm, let me see here. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, verse 33. Behold, the Lord, it's like, behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts shall lop the, shall lop the brawl with terror. And the high ones, right? Talk about you damn top elites, right? You high up Edomites. The high ones of stature shall be hewn down. You see that? And the haughty shall be humbled. You see that? So, yes, man. Right? All the way from you, you know, you you blood sucking, you blood sucking Edomites, right? The, you know, again, you Rothschilds and you Gettys and you Bloomingbergs and all that. You guys are going to be hewn down, man. Right? So, enjoy it. Enjoy your kingdom, your funky ass kingdom. Right? Why you still have time because your time is short man your world is coming to an end and there's nothing that you can do about it you see that all your little movies that you do about going into space and all that no it's not gonna happen for you man you see that and if you do go to space you know which which i i don't know you see that if you do go to space right it's because we're gonna be sending you devils into different captivities man by different brothers you see that you're not going to be free right you're going to be in bondage just like how you put us in bondage man right so yes man the high ones shall be hewn down man right let's grab the uh let's grab something here real quick man and your high rock desire lesson will be edifying i want to grab this uh grab this here with terror let's find out what that means man Strong's age, 4637. Haratsa. 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 And it says, awful shock, crash, terror. You see that? So, yes, you devils are going to feel this, man. 
an awful shock. You see that? Your, your world that you living in now, right? When you in the kingdom and you gonna be in, in chains, right? You guys are gonna uh, uh, be talking about pipe dreams. You see that having pipe dreams about you uh, 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 riding in yachts, right? Uh, uh, taking extravagant trips, right? Pipe dreams, man. You see that you guys are never going to uh, 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 have the, have the freedom that you have now ever again, man. Right? Your kids run around without having to worry about anything and all of that, man. You see that? You can sleep with your damn doors unlocked, right? You know, and again, I was inspired to do this lesson, man, based off the brother's lesson, man. And it was very beautiful and edifying and uplifting, man. You see that? We always talk about you damn, uh, 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 you know, talk about our people, right? Trying to correct them and reprove them. But you devils, ain't no hope for you, man. Ain't no hope. You see that? So let's keep going here, man. I got a few more scriptures I'm going to end this lesson because I don't want to keep it long. Right? This is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. You see that? So all you heathens, right, are going into slavery, man. But you Edomites, you're going to get it the worst. You see that? Moab, you Chinese, you Japanese, you you, you uh, so-called uh, 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 Arabs and all that, right? You Indians or, you know, you guys are going into slavery too, man. You see that? Because you guys also took a, 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 a had your hand in us being in captivity, man. Right? You Hamites. Yes, man. You know, you guys are going into slavery. You see that? You guys will be handmaids and all of that, man. You guys are going to cook. You guys are going to clean. You guys are going to do it all, man. See that? A lot, of your, a lot of you guys and your women, right, will be concubines, man. Anyway, for the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. You see that? So what you done to the Israelites, the apple of the Lord's eye is going to be done unto you, man. You see that? Except the bugged out things that you've done, man. You see that? And all will be revealed, man. You see that? All, everything will be revealed. You see? So let's keep going here. I got a few more and I'm going to end this lesson, man. So we're tired. We're tired of your damn, uh, 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 tired of working for you, man. You see that? And more and more Jake are, are waking up to that reality, man. That we're tired of working for nothing. You see that? The cost of food and the cost of living is going up. Right? So it's like we're working just to turn around and pretty much spend it, man. You see that? And it all goes back to the curses. But anyway, this is the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 25. But he that doeth wrong, right? He that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. You see that? So you done us wrong, man. And you're going to be done wrong. It's only right, man. Right? And you hear people talk, you got to forgive and forget. Well, what about this scripture here, man? Right? There's also another scripture that says eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth, man. Right? But that's that bugged out Christian doctrine that you guys pushed on the Israelites. Right? To lynch us in trees and say forgive and forget because that's what fake white man Jesus would do, right? Anyway, Colossians chapter, five, Colossians chapter 3 verse 25. But he that do a wrong shall receive the wrong which he have done. You see that? And there is no respect of persons. You see that? So, man, you devils, you get ready for slavery, boy. You devils are going into slavery, man. Ha big time. Intergalactic slavery. You see that? We're going to be shipping you Edomites everywhere, man. Right? Just like how you came and... and, and, and and separate the man from the woman and, and the sister from the brother and, and the children from the mom and the mom from, you know, we're going to be doing the same thing to you, man. You see that? We're going to be using you guys for breeding purposes. You see that? To reproduce more slaves. You see? You're going to take the big rock and turn it into small rocks. 
You see that? Using a plastic knife. We got a lot of tricks for you devils, man. Right? So you're going to receive the wrong that you've done to us, man. Let's get rid of this picture here because this is making me more upset, man. Let's bring this out. This is the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 7, verse 31. I'm going to start at verse 31. And thou, right, that has been the author of all mischief against the Hebrews. You see, talk about you Edomites, man. And when you read the story, going into the, uh, the seven brothers and the mother, you guys put us to death for not eating pork, man. Right? But anyway, and thou that has been the author of all mischief against the Hebrews shalt not escape the hands of the Most High. You see that? So you guys are not going to escape for what you've done to us, man. Not at all. You know, now you have simple Jake out there, you know, that will uh, 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 forgive and forget and all of that. But not us, man. Not the hopeful elect. You see that? Let's keep going here, man. For we suffer because of our sins you see that so this is why we suffer man this is why we went into slavery because we sinned against the lord man right let's keep going here and though the living power it's like and though the living lord be angry with us right a little while for our chest for our chastising and correction listen to this yet shall he be at once again with his servants you see that so hey man the lord is gonna be with us man Right? The Lord's going to be with us. You see that? He's allowing us to wake up and stand upon our feet and remember who we are. To call on our, you know, to call the names of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? The true names. You see that? But you devils, again, you devils got a lot to pay for, man. You see that? We're going to work the hell out of you. We are going to work the hell out of you, man. You see that? So this is a quick lesson through the spirit and power. Y'all by Shema Washah. I was inspired to do this lesson, you know, by listening to this other brother's lesson, man. Beautiful, man. And again, I'm going to leave the link to his lesson in the description box. And, and you know, and, and Baba Kashar subscribe, man, to this brother. You know? So let me, let me see here. So let me go back, right? Because we're tired. Yeah, but it's all good. Enjoy, man. Enjoy your time. Damn, I hate my job, I feel like quitting on the daily, uh Then I realize I can't quit because I got a baby, uh Sometimes I just wanna lay around and be lazy, uh Supervisor got one more time to walk up talking crazy, uh Why you asking me to do some shit that's out of my pay grade? Why you volunteer my service knowing I ain't gonna stay late? On my case about mistakes that they made, oh, hell no I ain't putting no two weeks notice, I ain't even finna tell y'all So, you know, you pretty much get it, man Cool, I am la Ahalayanawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. You're going into slavery, boy.